Welcome to the Cool Section, bro. I'm KC. WB has gotten down to selecting their final choice for Batgirl for this HBO Max film. And out of the four picks that they had, they chose to pick the one that I felt looked the least like Batgirl, bro. And that was Miss Leslie Grace. When it comes down to this whole topic of representation on screen, I think to myself, okay, okay. What happened to the representation of redheads on screen? Because quite frankly, I have seen redhead get switched up over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And nobody has any kind of logical explanation as to why this keeps on happening to redheads on screen. Are directors and screenwriters allergic to redheads, bruh? Do they have some kind of allergic reaction that just borderline kills them in the studio when they are trying to film a film? Or when they are trying to do casting calls? Because I see no real reason as to why there is borderline no representation for redhead characters. And this right here is just another example of what exactly I am talking about. Robert Gordon never even had a chance to be done correctly on screen, bro. The last time we saw this character done in a film was that Alicia Silverstone version that came out in everybody's favorite Batman film of all time, bro. Batman and Robin. Where she was turned from a redhead into a blonde and turned from the daughter of Commissioner Gordon into the niece of Alfred. What is that garbage, bro? But apparently that wasn't enough. They said, you know what? Yeah, we screwed up. Well, we got to keep that trend going because now we got to still change the character up. Because we just cannot get her comic book accurately translated from the comic book to the big screen. Because that's just too much to ask for. Because we got to check that box, bro. You're so concerned about, about representation, but you ain't over here checking for your other DC female characters, bro. You had Cassandra Kane get completely butchered and screwed up by the person writing this film, Miss Christina Hodson. An amazing martial artist character with an also equally amazing mother in the form of Lady Shiva, bro. Two amazing characters you could have been whooping out here for people to find out about. Instead of throwing them over here into the corner, wasting them in Birds of Prey, not even using Vixen, not using Bumblebee, not using Rocket, not using any of these other female characters, bro. Because, hey, race swapping is just the way to go. It's what's in style now, bro. That's just what we should be doing. Because apparently WB felt like race swapping the Gordons, regardless of what universe is in, is just the way to go. Because apparently there's just too many white characters out here for people to tolerate. Because swapping out white characters is just the way to go. If they wanted diversity so bad, bro, they could always make brand new characters. Not be lazy with it. Make brand new characters that have interesting backstories and interesting qualities and things to be told to the audience. But instead of going that route, because that's just apparently too much work, they just go ahead and keep on doing the other kind of garbage that they did for Black Canary in that Birds of Prey film. Like they're trying to do with this whole coats. Black Superman, chocolate Superman garbage that he's trying to do, bro. Yet again, WB strikes again. This absolutely took my interest in seeing the Bat Family presented on screen, bro, in the DCEU. If this is supposed to be connected to the DCEU, because who knows, bro? Who honestly knows what DC's doing these days? But if this is supposed to be the Batgirl that will be part of the Bat Family... That took my interest in seeing the Bat Family from here to down here, bro. And it borderline makes me not even want to see Nightwing on screen at this point. To not even see Jason Todd, to not even see Tim Drake. Because if they're doing this to Batgirl, what on earth are they going to do to the other Bat Family characters? All this time and energy invested in reading your books, reading your material, following this, that, and the other. And when I get to finally see the crowning achievement of seeing the character brought to life on screen in a film, you give me garbage. You give me race swapped nonsense. You give me what on earth I am not asking for or checking for. And if this is supposed to be because they have a X amount of white female characters in the DC universe already, bruh, whose problem is that? Since when was it a, a crime or an issue to have a white female character on screen? Because Margot Robbie has her Harley Quinn or because Amber Heard has her Mera and Aquaman or any of these other female characters. 
as if having them somehow means that WB at the same time could not have made a Vixen film or could not have done something with Cassandra Cain and Lady Shiva or Rocket or Bumblebee or any of these other female characters, bro. They could have been doing things with plenty of female characters, but they chose not to. And that's on WB. Same thing comes with all these other white characters that they have, bro. The other traditional superheroes that have been established for over 80 plus years were Batman, Superman, the Green Lanterns, the Flash, all these other characters. Nobody told them, hey, you can't make other races, you can't make other ethnic characters come out at the same time as them. They chose to make those decisions, bro. And with this, the problem still continues. Because now, instead of honestly investing in these other versions of characters... For the sake of representation and good storytelling, they choose to race swap Barbara Gordon because, but in honesty, to check that box. And then the fact that they have Christina Hodson writing this film, bro. Christina Hodson killed off Barbara Gordon's team in Birds of Prey. Birds of Prey will not get a sequel, but Birds of Prey is a dead brand written by the same person that's writing this film and is also writing The Flash. This film is a red flag storm to me. And The Flash is too. Because I don't trust anything that Christina Hodson does or touches. She has yet to do anything that makes me feel like I should invest in anything that she is doing. Because Birds of Prey was probably the film that I disliked the most out of the DCEU. And yet here we are again. With a switched up unnecessarily Batgirl film, bro. Barbara Gordon. It is what it is. If y'all like what's going on with this particular Batgirl, you feel like redhead characters and redhead people don't deserve any kind of representation because we should be doing this instead for them, let me know down in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the casting for Batgirl in this particular project. I'm KC from the cool section. Y'all have a good one and stay safe.